Hey guys, welcome back to my latest video tutorial. And today we're going to be taking a look at how we can use Mid Journey or any other AI tool that is out there to help us visualize interior design. So let's say we want to redecorate or we are looking for new ideas for our home. Um, you know, we you normally sort of turn to social media such as Pinterest, Facebook, we turn to interior designers, but Mid Journey actually does a really good job of uh, visualizing what we want to achieve. And today's video is going to be about that. So guys, I hope you're ready and let's get started. Welcome to part one. And in, in this part, we're going to be taking a look at why we should be using tools like Midjourney to help us visualize our new home or a new concept of the home. So let's just go over some of the key benefits of using a tool like Midjourney to help us. So I've asked my trusted chat GPT to help me. So number one, limitless inspiration. Midjourney provides virtually endless source of interior design inspiration, helping you discover styles and ideas you might not have considered otherwise. Number two, Customized style and exploration with Midjourney, you can personalize your design exploration by specifying your preferred style elements, ensuring that the ideas generated are tailored to your taste. Three, efficiency and time saving. Midjourney streamlines the design process by rapidly generating visual concepts, saving you hours of research and brainstorming. And we will actually look at some examples from my book that is currently available of how quickly Midjourney renders new uh, visualizations for you. Number four, visualization aid. It offers a visual representation of design ideas, allowing you to see how different elements will come together in your space before making really important decisions. Number five, you can adapt to any space, Midjourney's flexibility means it can be used for various types of spaces, from living rooms to kitchens, bedrooms, and even outdoor areas. Number six, complementary to Pinterest. While Pinterest is a fantastic platform for design inspiration, Midjourney takes it that step further by generating tailored design concepts that you can directly implement. Number seven, budget-friendly design. It helps you explore design options within your budget constraints making it easier to find affordable yet stylish solutions. Number eight, experimentation and risk-free designs. Midjourney encourages experimentation. You can try out different design elements virtually, making it risk-free before committing to real life changes. Number nine, expert design advice. Midjourney incorporates design principles and trends, providing you with insights that can help you make informed design decisions. And number 10, collaboration and sharing. You can use Midjourney to collaborate with others on design projects and easily share your ideas and concepts with friends, family, or professionals. So guys, I hope that this sort of gives you fantastic benefits to try Midjourney with interior design, and I'll see you in a part three. Guys, welcome back to part three of this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to really get stuck in with creating some amazing interior design styles. Now, first things first, I do want to a little bit talk about my guide that is out now. Um, it's called 110 interior designs and plus hundreds of prompts for simple reason is that, um, you know, we need to give Midjourney something to focus on and Midjourney responds really well to styles because that's what it's trained on and it understands it. So one of the key things that I really would recommend, even if you don't get my book is to learn about interior styles because you know how sometimes we like something on the internet but we don't really know what style that is so um i think a book like this and i don't know whether there are others out there um you know to focus on mid journey but um the books like this really helps you sort of like looking at different styles different um different play materials use of materials so i think it's really important to know what is it that we want to achieve? What kind of style we're looking for? And it also gives us that experimentation, experimentation tool to play with different styles until we find the one that we really like. Yeah. Rather than plucking something of the Pinterest and, you know, like sort of, oh, this is what I want. We need to know what, what it is that we want. Um, so this is where my book comes in, um, guys, it's for sale here on my website. Uh, I will pop the link underneath this video. You can also see, 
um, a video tutorial on, on exactly what is it that you're going to be learning. So let's just sort of have a look at, um, you know, what kind of styles we can create. So I am focusing on uh, first, first things I'm sort of like doing, um, you know, how to work with Midjourney, but very briefly, because obviously there's a Midjourney documentation, which is fantastic. And then we have the categories, so contemporary, and each category has 10 different styles to explore. How exciting is that? Now, most of these are something that we have seen that is already out there, that is uh, replicable. Uh, my first book was focused on really um, something that is achievable because that's what people want to see. They want to be able to recreate the design. My second book that is coming out uh, very soon in about two to three weeks focuses on more um, um, sort of like a different styles. I quickly show you what is it that I've been creating. This is this is also from the first book. Um, but um, look, so this is like a wall play that I've been doing. And uh, um, yeah, just different different furniture designs, different <laughs> different products. Yeah, just really having a ball this time with me journey and, you know, creating some architecture so the second book will be really more pushing the boat out you know looking at different art styles but also focusing on the interiors uh especially role play i do a lot of role play now so this is something to look forward to so again here melted blue stone so you can create these bathrooms now one thing that i'm not sure about is whether you can actually recreate these kind of things uh in real life yet i really don't know guys uh, but you can create it with me journey and I, you know, and look at these. Yeah. So these are sort of like really out there concepts. And if you do follow AI art, you will see that there's quite a lot of us who are doing this now and, um, you know, like playing around with different options. I found a slightly better way to show you guys. So if you love interior design and if you love crazy things that I do and I'm, the way I'm pushing the boundaries, please follow me. I will pop this uh facebook underneath this video i've also got the uh, instagram and tiktok account but anyway so um this is all going to be sort of like included in the new book so sort of like a lot of role play uh some furniture sort of like inspired by different things and um look at these kettles so i've been creating you know what funny thing is that i've been to shops yesterday and i was thinking goodness, furniture and, you know, like elect, elect, electronic things are so boring compared to what you can create with Midjourney. But of course, it's important to remember this. This is just visual. So let's just go over. Okay, this is some manicure that I did, some dance. Okay, so let's just sort of like see better this way. These are some role play again uh, for inspiration. So you can literally like get inspired so much with a mid journey so these are all um images and prompts that are going to be included in a new book i have not included it in the first book because this is very out there and i have no idea whether this can be a reality at the moment it's sort of more of a sort of like a fantastical gallery book you know seeing what's possible with mid journey uh look at these yeah just absolutely amazing play with different materials i think this would be possible to recreate uh, some of these. Yeah, so literally playing, 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 trying out something new every day. Look at those. Some kitchen islands and so on, some walls. Oh my God, you know what? It's amazing, yeah. But as I said, you know, like the first book is very, very much focused on the what's, what's possible right now. Okay, guys, so uh, again, it would really mean a world to me if you do uh, follow me on this website. I sort of share my favorite artworks, but also uh, share prompts, how I create things. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's quite fun. Okay, guys, so back to my book. So um, let's just sort of like pick some style and then we will <clears throat> create it in mid journey and I'll show you how quickly actually this is created. So some of the prompts that um, I provide the prompts in the book for every single style, I'm keeping it very, very simple. That's the advantage of using styles in interior design, because you don't have to have a complicated prompt. Um, but here are some additional prompts that you can be actually using with your uh, existing prompts. So for example, prompt that I provided with is imagine modern kitchen, minimalist style. Yeah. Um, 
And of course, it's actually worth it to go through the book first to see what kind of style we like. So this this is also a good thing about the book that I can actually visually see what Mijani is capable of giving me. So if I am interested in industrial style, this is what it would look like. If I am interested in mid, mid, mid-century modern, so this is what it would look like. So there's like a loads of loads of different styles. Okay, so let's just do a farmhouse. Farmhouse is a very popular option. Lots of houses are still styled like this. So this is our prompt. So I've also included Imagine, but that's sort of like uh, in the mid-journey option. If you click on the uh, dash, then the sort of like the Imagine prompt comes up. So we're ready to input our prompt. And let's go back here and we are going to do modern kitchen so you literally just copy and paste from my book directly into me journey and let's see the magic yeah and especially how quickly it is guys and while that's doing its job i want to sort of like do some more unusual styles uh well this is also quite unusual you know high tech styles uh, a lot of exploration here is i included organic modern but I've included a section on um, sort of play with, these are some retro designs, play with these uh, stones, stonework, which is always very popular on Instagram, you always does well. So let's just find it very quickly. Okay, our images I created. Guys, for my images, I like to keep uh, aspect ratio of 3 to 2 because it gives you nice sort of like a white um, sort of portrait, picture of the room. You can also include wide lens and let's see how gorgeous these are. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Absolutely amazing. Every single image is different. Everything is different. Um, I can also rerun the prompt. If I want to add something to it, I can. Yeah, or just sort of like leave it to me journey to um, create it for me. Guys, you saw how easy it was, right? Now we've got a minimalist style here. I just sort of find the um, the play with stones. Yeah, it's a it's a book, three hundred and thirty seven pages. As you can see, it's absolutely amazing as a gallery book. Okay, let's let's recreate this. So crystal and gem glam style. I love this style, guys. So uh, we again got the prompt starting with imagine. We've already got that. So modern kitchen crystal and glam style let's see what it does for us so did i actually copy it yep oh my goodness look at this farmhouse so this is still our farmhouse and we can of course save it to our computer yeah wherever we want to and then we obviously separate the pictures we all know how so we just uh, click on upscale of each one that we want okay let's go over to the next one which is our glam style let's see what it does for us okay okay so we've got invalid parameters so let's try again let's see what was invalid okay so i see this one was separated okay so these two dashes had to have to be together so that's something to remember if you don't want to specify AR, if you just want a portrait, then you just leave it as it is. You don't need uh, you don't need the uh, specified parameters. Okay, so let's just make sure I did that. Good. And guys, very quickly, I show you where you can find the Mid Journey documentation. And this is this should be really your bible, um, user guide. Yeah. So here is. Here is parameters, advanced prompts, so all these parameters, you know, you really need to look at aspect ratio, what you want to, obviously, when you are creating like a wall art and you will choose a different aspect ratio, you can play with quality, there's, there's loads of different things, um, weird option, tile, yeah, so documentation is very important that you catch up on. Okay, what's going on here? All right, guys, so I'm going to pause this video and then I'll get back to you when we are through because it's actually taking a little bit of a time. Guys, so our images are now done. Look at how amazing. 
let's see what's in the book. So in the books, I did these. Of course, guys, you know, one important thing is to remember, you may not like the first one that Minjani produces. So there's a roll button that I'm going to show you and you can actually re-roll the same prompt as many times as you want um, until you find your perfect images. And you can then, of course, you know, like, Create it in a bathroom, any room that you, any room of the house that you want. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at these and look at how easy that prompt was, guys. Yeah. So basically, modern kitchen, crystal and gem glam style. And look at this. Yeah. So again, I save my work, um, show it to my designer, show it to my friends and family for, uh, for second opinion. And how amazing are these? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now, again, you know, guys, I kept the prompt um, aspect ratio three to two so that I get the bigger view of the room. Uh, but again, what a great inspiration. And if you want to reroll, here is your reroll button. And if you want to create versions of each image, here is how you upscale and download. Yeah. So um, if I want to upscale, for example, the first one, then it's going to upscale it for me. Um, so now I can download it upscale. Yeah, so just click on save image as. And if I want to uh, create variation, so I can create a very strong variation or very subtle. And again, under one minute, I have got all my images ready. Yeah, how easy it is, guys, you know. And imagine trolling the internet for hours, Pinterest, trying to find what you like. And this, this basically gives you everything. So all you need to do, look through the book. See what style you like, and then just pop it into media and it just follow the prompt. Literally copy the prompt. Yeah. Copy the look at these Zen styles, you know, like River Rock. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. So the book has a lot, a lot of um, fun stuff to look at, fun stuff to do. Even it sort of like creates a wonderful gallery of images oh my goodness look at how it's sort of like we were creating variations so yeah here yeah. obviously some of them will be crazy because we are playing with uh, stones semi-precious stones uh but you get the idea so we, we can literally create unlimited variation of that prompt and of that interior design guys how amazing is this i mean you know i Honestly, like I think this is this is just a, such a great tool when it comes to designing our interior space around us. Um, and also, you know, my big advice to you is learn what styles out there. Yeah, because this will sort of like help you give uh, me journey something to focus on, something to chew on, and then it creates these amazing, amazing um, sort of interiors. And then, of course, you know, you've got instructions here and i think and also you know the kids section is amazing look at these pirate beds guys so that's all waiting for you in my book again that link is here and um, i will pop the link underneath this video and guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you